Yo, it's your boy Rose, and I'm back with another comic review. And we are back on the Marvel side of things. Arrow came out in 2019, and it ended in 2020 with issue 12. The main hero of this comic is Li Ling. I hope I said that right. And she is from Shanghai, and she is an architect. She has the power of wind, as so we're told on the opening page. So it opens up with her battling a monster turn monster from a building or something like that don't even know how that worked out but then it gave us a nice little flashback which kind of hinted towards she has no real idea of how she got these powers but she does have the ability to control air and wind and all those things just with the power of her mind they also acknowledge that she does exist in the main universe continuity as we see iron man on a billboard this issue also comes with like a second story called Era and Wave where the art style kind of changes up a little bit. Some comics do this where they include like an extra bit of storytelling. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Not too much story going on here. Not too much backstory that they gave us. We don't really fully know what's going on here. Which isn't a bad thing because it is only the first issue that we're reviewing right now. But the artwork here was so great. If you are looking to give this a try, it might be a little hard to find it in your local comic book store. But I'm pretty sure you can for sure find it on the Marvel app. Be easy, guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and follow if this has come across your page. Yo, 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 it's Rose, and we are back giving these comic reviews. This is my comic review of Batman White Knight Red Hood. So this comic starts off with the oh-so-familiar backstory of the Red Hood. He's being beaten by Joker. Then we get a brief little throwback to how, you know, Batman found him. He was, you know, a youth, an orphan in the streets, committing some crimes. Batman brought him in, raised him up as Robin. And then now we cut back to him being beat up by the Joker. And you know how normally he, uh, you know, dies and he's re, you know, invented through the Lazarus Pit? And this ending of his altercation with the Joker was completely different from the original origins of Red Hood. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you what happened because I actually want you to go out and actually read this one. This is actually a good story. And we continue in this story. He's uh, out, you know, as the Red Hood or whatever. He's fighting, you know, some thieves who took from a liquor store or whatever. And then he runs across the new Robin who's not officially Robin. And she's kind of out doing her own thing, not really official. They get into a little altercation. And then our favorite dick. Pause. Dick Grayson shows up, otherwise known as Nightwing. Nightwing pretty much ends up taking Jason Todd to jail. Jason Todd's in jail. The new Robin, she comes through, essentially breaks him out, pretty much. Says she needs help with a supervillain. Batman is kind of too busy to help out in her neighborhood. And he's just kind of like, you know, whatever. And so moving forward, of course, you know, being Jason Todd, he kind of refused. But then he realizes this is low key a chance to stick it to the man, stick it to Batman. So we then learn the new Robin's name, and her name is Gan, which is Mongolian for the bold one. As he's teaching her to fight the life of crime, to live this life as a vigilante, he then realizes as she tackles a thief toward the ground that he can't teach her the way Batman taught her. He needs to teach her in a style that utilizes her strengths. And the shorter used to play rugby. So, all in all, I give this issue one of Batman White Knight, Red Hood, an eight and a half out of ten. I thought it was a pretty well-written story based off the first issue. Um, the difference in the origin story here for Red Hood and Jason Todd, I am really liking. It was definitely a surprise to see where they took that, and um, I would definitely recommend people picking it up. Issue two, I will do a review on. I'm going to read that probably tomorrow or the next day. But Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Tom King Tom! Tales of the Human Target is a Tom King story. And I love Tom King. The story starts with a Green Lantern telling a story. Based off the haircut, I can kind of tell it was Guy Gardner. So the Guy Gardner is telling a story about a guy named Gene Perlman who was involved in an accident, which really wasn't an accident, that was caused by Brother Blood, which is basically like a terrorist group. So then the story goes from Guy Gardner telling a story to Booster Gold telling a story and then Beatrice telling a story and then for the rest of the comic it flips back and forth between all three of them telling different stories about whatever they're experiencing. In Booster Gold's story he's trying to save a writer who publicly has a hundred million dollar bounty on his head so that was kind of interesting. In Beatrice's story she was with a photographer who was taking pictures of her because she's a supermodel and um yeah he just kind of gets shot like just randomly and she spends the rest of the time trying to save him and whatever and so like for me this story 
and the different viewpoints that are told throughout this story was very interesting and the way it all connected at the end was pretty good i must say um it definitely gave me like identity crisis types of vibes if you ever read that and if you haven't you definitely should but the various viewpoints and the congruent storytelling and then at, when you get to the end it's like that aha moment of why it's all being told like this and because of that i have to give this comic a 10 out of 10 spectacular writing i didn't even know like the human target was a thing until now so i'm definitely going to check out the other issues from the other series the main series i guess from this comic series so since that is my opinion on this i definitely think you guys should check it out see you guys next time